Hey everyone, in this video I wanted to quickly talk about the new Azure AD cross cloud B2B capability, the ability to invite people as guests from Azure AD in different Azure cloud environments. As always, this is useful, a like and subscribe is appreciated. Now we generally think of Azure as this single cloud, which is really not the case. There are actually multiple Azure environments. These environments are made up of their own distinct regions with their own data centers, their own versions of Azure AD. For example, if I was to just quickly go and look in PowerShell, I can do a, hey, get AZ environment, and straight away I can see, oh look, there's a, the regular Azure commercial cloud we're used to with its various endpoints, its Azure AD. But then there's a separate one for Azure US Gov. And there's a separate one for Azure China. The Azure German cloud, that's really uh, going away. That's, that's not a focus anymore. But certainly there are these different Azure environments and they have their own Azure AD as well. So why as a company, well, maybe I as a company, I can think about, well, hey, I have my existing Azure AD. So this is my commercial Azure AD instance. And I've got various resources, trust in that. And I've got various users in this Azure AD. And maybe I also have, maybe it's a US Gov Azure AD. Maybe it's a China Azure AD. But in this case, I'll say, hey, I have a US Gov Azure AD as well. And maybe there are some resources hanging off that trust that Azure AD. Maybe it's actually Azure subscriptions, for example, that trust that. So that's an Azure subscription in US Gov that obviously has to trust a US Gov Azure AD. And now what my requirement is that is now possible, hey, I would like to, instead of having to have separate users in that US Gov Azure AD to then give permissions to those resources, which we can do, we now support the idea of, hey, I could have Azure AD Connect, different Azure AD Connects replicating the same object to multiple Azure ADs. I can do that, but I don't want to. What I would rather do is, in this case, add people from commercial as guests or external identities to my US Gov. And so that's now an option. And I wanted to really walk through, well, what is that pattern? Because there's really two steps I have to do. And both of these sets of steps are all about these cross-tenant access settings. A capability that enables me to be more granular for regular B2B, say, hey, yes, I'm gonna allow maybe inbound guests from certain Azure AD tenancies, I'm gonna allow those, maybe I'm gonna trust their MFA, and also, hey, I'm gonna allow outbound my users to be added as guests to these organizations, so I have very granular control. That's now being extended for this cross-cloud scenario. So the first part of this is, if we actually go and we look at our external identities, and we go to that cross-tenant access settings, there's now a new tab. We have this Microsoft Cloud Settings option. So the first thing I have to do in each of the Azure AD tenants is check the box for the other cloud environment I want to be able to leverage. So in both of the environments, I'm checking this box. So I can think about, okay, Microsoft Cloud Settings. So step one is for this, if I think about, hey, Microsoft Cloud Access, just that box. So in commercial, well, I'm gonna check the box for Gov. 
in my gov tenant, I'm gonna check the box for commercial. So that's step one. So on both the tenants, I'm saying yes, I want to allow the idea of guests from those other cloud environments specifically. And maybe it's not US government, maybe it's China. Maybe I've got manufacturing or partners, whatever it needs to be. I can add those things. That's step one. The difference also when I'm thinking cross cloud is I have to explicitly add the other tenant ID that I want to be able to add guests. Normally, if I'm within the same cloud, I don't have to do that. I can just by default go and invite guests from any Azure AD there is, unless I've explicitly blocked it using things like cross-tenant access settings. So in addition to kind of, hey, it has a certain name, it has a tenant ID. So I could say, hey, the tenant ID of my commercial, hey, this tenant ID is 42, and this tenant ID is 23. So what I now have to do is in each of the Azure ADs, I have to explicitly go and add the tenant ID of the other Azure AD I want to have this relationship with. So I would go and add, oh, tenant ID 23. And on this side, I would go and add, oh, tenant ID 42. So I have to do that step. So I've already gone in and hey, I've enabled the other clouds on both sides. So in my commercial, I enabled gov. In my gov, I enabled commercial. Then I have to go to organizational settings and add an organization. So I have to add in the tenant ID. I can't do domain name. I need to do tenant ID because it's a different cloud environment of the other side of this pairing that I'm going to do. So if this is my commercial, I would add the tenant ID of my Gov Azure AD instance. Then in my Gov Azure AD instance, I would add the tenant ID of my commercial. Now, one thing I do want to point out, today, during this preview, in your Gov or in your China portal, you may not see this Microsoft Cloud Settings tab. It's being rolled out right now. The documentation has these specific URLs you can use that will definitely light up those tabs. So if you go to your Gov portal and you're missing that Microsoft Cloud Settings, or in China you're missing it, hey, here's a specific URL that will definitely open up and then show you that Microsoft Cloud Settings checkbox. So then you're gonna have those options available. And the documentation is great. It goes through explicitly all of the steps you actually need to do. So once you've done that, once you've gone through, so you've added the other tenant ID, now I need to go and enable whatever the direction of the relationship is I want to do. So there's both inbound and outbound settings. Now I might say, hey, this is only gonna be one way because all I want to do is in my Gov Azure AD, allow guests from commercial. I do not want people in my Gov Azure AD to be added as guests into my commercial. So then as part of those cross-tenant access settings, the settings I have for 23, well, this is outbound. So I would allow outbound. And then on this side, hey, for 42, the commercial, I'm gonna enable inbound. So that's, that's the steps we're gonna perform. So hey, back over on our Azure AD, I added the other tenant, and then I can just go, and for that tenant's particular settings, notice we have both inbound and outbound access. And I can configure, I can inherit from default, but you have a complete choice on what you want to do. Maybe, hey, yes, I want to allow access for the inbound. Or maybe if this is my commercial, I want to block inbound. I do not want that ability to allow accounts to come from Gov. And so what I would care about would be the outbound. 
So I would configure the outbound and say, hey, I'm gonna allow the access. So I'm gonna allow people from my commercial to go outbound to this gov tenant. And then on the gov tenant, it would be the opposite. I would block outbound, but I would allow the inbound. So I do have to do this step. So that's one of the differences from regular B2B. I have to specifically add the tenant. So I have to enable the other cloud, then add the tenant ID on both sides, and then have the rules, if it's different from the default. Hey, outbound, allow, inbound. And it could be I'm allowing both inbound and outbound on both. I want that bi-directional ability to add guests. Absolutely can do that. And then it's nothing special at all. At this point, once this is configured, I'm done. Now, remember, we enabled it essentially for Gov to add guests from commercial. I would just do the regular, hey, add guest. I can't do it on this side. This side doesn't allow the inbound. On my gov, I would add a guest and I would invite the person from commercial and everything is the same. So that's what this is giving me. It's really not anything super special, just those couple of extra steps. Hey, go and enable the other cloud, go and add the tenant. I set the cross tenant access settings like I would ordinarily and I've got a separate video on that. And now I can go and add from guests where I've allowed that inbound relationship. Hopefully that might simplify the accounts configurations. No longer do I have to worry about maybe having separate accounts in another Azure AD environment. I can leverage the ones I already have just to optimize my all up configuration. So I hope that was useful. Until the next video, take care.